This is a nice example that combines all uh, files and lists and strings. In this example, we are going to download a text file. We'll take a look at it soon. Gas prices, txt. The file contains the weekly average prices of gallons of gas in the United States, beginning on April 1993 and ending in August 2013. So the starting year is 1993 and the ending year is 2013. Each line in the file contains uh, the average price of gallon on a specific date. Each line is formatted as the following. Let's look at the line here. Here is the file. This is one line in the file. So we have the date, month, day, year, separated by dash here. And then we have colon, and then the gas price. This is 1993, then goes 1994, and all of them. So look at here. You have the date, then colon, then price. So we need to extract this information. Let us see that what the question needs, actually. Okay. Two digits day, four digits year. We know that now. Write a program that reads the contents of the file and display the average price per year. So we need finally to uh, print the average price for each year, like 1993 this much, 1994 that much, by reading the information from this file. So clearly what we care about is the year, this field, and the price. So we need to do some splitting and uh, reading the file in a list and then extract the year and extract the gas price and then do the accumulation. Let's go to the code and see what we're going to do. We have this line, and we have all the data from 1993 here, all the way to, see, uh, it's a huge file. Thousands of lines, do you see them? What is the last year? And the first year is 1993. Each line contains two pieces of information, date and what? Price. But for date, I only care about what? The year. So the question says, print the average price for each what? Each year. So to solve the big problem, simplify it by, by doing what? Instead of doing the loops, nested loops, do function. The function will give you the average for one year. And call this function for next year. Yani do two one or two functions and then keep calling them every time send them a different what a different year you get this come on so let me just create here a code let me call it gas.py type what is the starting year 1993 ending year can i create can i create a global constants here i think i can but it's a constant yes it's not uh, okay can I, okay can i say starting you know when you say when you when you write constants you always try to use what all what all caps starting year 1993 is this fine with you ending year these are constants and i'm not going to change 2000 what because i will do this okay type now next what do you want me to do i need to open the file and read the file in a in a list what which, which function reads the file in a list read lines returns what a list can i say here gas file equals open remember the file is in the same folder right open what gas prices dot txt which mode which mode r which is read mode okay i have all the i open the file now how to read all the lines in what in a list tell me so can i say data list is this a good name equals what gas file read lines read lines is very nice here it will give us what all the lines 
And by the way, at this moment, I can close the file. I don't need it because all the data, I have the data now stored where in memory, in which, uh, in the data list. Does that make sense? Yani I can say gas file dot what? Close. I don't need to write anything. Allah, to continue, I need you to see what's the, what is stored in where? In the data list. Can I say print data? Of course, it's going to be huge. Huh? Let's run this and make sure we open the file. Wow. See? Thousands of what? Of items stored what? Each in what? what in what? In one line. Tayyib. Remember, we need to remove what? Sah. Tayyib. Now, what is the starting year? 1993 ending year. So I will, I will try to find the average for each year in a loop. See here, for, for what? Year, less I, year, use meaningful name, صح? In what? In range, starting year, ending year plus one. Does that make sense so far? Okay, tamam. So what do you want to do? I want to create a function to tell the function, find me the average of prices for what? For that year, does that make sense? So the function will receive the year and the data list, do you agree? And return what? Only what? The average for that year. So can I, I can say get year, let us say get year, AVG is a good name. Tamam. What is the variable I'm going to send to the function? Year. And I need to send the function what also? Data list. Taib. Now we stop here and we go to a, what? We go to our what? Function. Def. What is the function name? Get year AVG. And this function will take a and data what? Data list. Fine. The function will do a lot of things. It's also a good idea. From this function, you can call other functions to do certain tasks. For example, what is the first step for each line here? What's the first step? To remove backslash. Then what? Split it. Sah? Fine. Can I say four? Now it's line. Sahulala. In what? In data list. Line is equal to what? Line dot R R strip. Good. So is it fine so far? We removed it. Now what do I want from the line? Split. Right. Can I say okay? Split or what? Do I need to do this inside this for loop and then split it again for I? Uh, can I call another function? You get my point? Can I create another function? I send the line to the function and the function send me back what? The year. You get that? You understand this point, yeah, Shabab? Huh? I uh, def get year. This function, sorry, get what? Get year. This function will receive what? Will receive what? A line. Sahulala. Yes or no? Fine. Good. Fine. Now this line. How to get the year? Let me show you the file. I only need this. I can split now based on what? The colon. Sahulala. Right? Okay. Tamam. So I need maybe to split twice. Sahulala. Right? Fine. You can do it in so many ways. Even you can remove things from certain points. Okay. There are so many ways how to do this. But let's say line data is equal to line dot split. Line dot what? Is it line? Split based on what? First time based on what? Colon. So now you will have how many items? Huh? Okay, you know what is this? One is the date and the other is the price. Okay, 
طيب can I stay here look I'll solve it different price is equal to what float float of line data one yes or no it will be the second so I even I have the price I decided in the middle of this I can ask the function to return both what the price and the year تمام هلا يلا year قولوا لي what ah date or date equals what line what line data zero dot split based on what dash does that make sense طيب استنى شوي can I make it integer can I make it integer صح so now get year and price so what's the function name now get year and ما بصير اعمل هيك Oh, still here. Still, no, no, still, still, date. No, no, this is still not ready, صح? I need one more step, ya Rami, صح? Here, now I can say year is equal to integer, صح? Data, dates, date, صح? Two. بس خلاص, صح ولا لا? تمام? Now I'll do what? Return what? Year, comma, price. صح ولا لا? Right? So this function will take each line, maybe one million lines, but I created what? I could have done this inside this loop, but is the code going to be readable? So now here, what do you want here? Sorry. Here, I can say, uh, remember, uh, the year will be integer, صح? And this year now is integer also, صح? تمام, ممتاز. So we need to know how to compare it. Y and price is equal to what? Get what? Get year a price and what we will send to the function? The line. Now, we will do the average only for one year, صح? طيب يلا. If, okay. Now, I can say sum is equal to what? And count is equal to what? Do you get this, ya shabab? And what to do? If what? Okay, la sum is equal to zero before the loop. Yes or no? صح? Is it? Before the loop, for, for the entire year. So now what to say? If it's the year we are looking for, so here I can say what? If y is equal, equal what? Year. صح ولا لا? The one sent to me? Aha. Uh -huh. Then this is what we're looking for. Yes or no, ya shabab? Then I can say sum plus equal what? Price. Count what? Plus equal one. بس خلصنا by the way. خلصنا صح. And here I can say return what? Return sum divided by what? By count, which is what? The average. So this function will take what from me? All the data list. It will go. This is the data list. Are you looking at it now? What I did first thing. I then I went for line. صح ولا لا؟ Each line I removed what? The new line character. Then I send the line to a function. This function will do the plumbing, will do the minor details for me. It will take the line and split it, uh, split it again, and finally it will return to me what? The price and what? The year. I could have done another function to get the price, but actually no need. يعني تمام؟ خلاص one function returns both of them. So now, and return some count. So if, it's, if the year here is 1993, it will go to all the lines and only will do the sum and the count if the year is what? And by the way here, get year average. So I can say print year, good, comma. I can say here and what will be returned by this function now? The average. So this one will call from 1993 to which year? 2013. Let us say 1993. All this list is sent to the function. 1993. It will set sum and count to what? 
then it will go line by line split strip the line send the line send each line to another function what is inside the other function خلاص, it's good and we don't have to do the spaghetti code two functions by the way i can click here and maybe maybe we get a something useful or what we get here let us hvanna file what let us save and run let's see what happens here uh, end of file error control c uh, there is end of line error where line 97 here in the code sir huh? oh gas dot let us see what's the end of file error for loop here okay gas fine which line they say you see any error uh, unexpected end of file while parsing uh, line what Brent oh but that's it one more break huh Oof. okay uh huh amazing output what is it look at it this is what 94 and what average year and average does that make sense I can get the maximum price for each year right minimum price but did you see how did we split the big problem into what smaller manageable problems this is one important way of learning and to learn in this course you need to be able to what manage your code in a way that you the problems are always going to be big so divide them into how many smaller problems i i made one function to return what the year and what the price of line another function to open the file and return the data list a third function to to do the accumulation of what the year we are looking for is this does that make sense yes about 